Welcome to part 16 in this unit tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to just improve the player that well, the zombie motion across the network and make it smoother by just writing my own motion sync script and remove that network transform component. So right, I'll just make a new script and call it zombie motion sync. And it's going to be a lot like the player syncing the motion sync and the rotation sync scripts. Uh, and as, as usual, using unity engine.networking and change this to derive from network behavior. And then I've got a bunch of variables, two sync vars to start with. And this one is private vector three. And this is sync boss. And then another one, sync var private. Uh, this will be a float uh, sync y r o t rotation. Okay, and then a private vector three, last position. And then a private a uh, quaternion. Uh, last rotation, then a private transform, my transform, then a private float, lerp rate, which I'm going to just set to 10, and uh, private uh, float a position threshold, so I'll just call it pos threshold, uh, which I'll make it to 0.5f, and a private float uh, rot threshold which i'll set to five degrees okay and then i'll move on to actually implementing stuff so in the start function i'm simply going to say my transform is equal to transform okay that's done and in update i will have uh, two functions running and i'll just write them here transmit motion is one and the other is going to be a lerp motion so i need to make both of these uh, so i'll start with um say i'll start with transmit motion uh, i guess well it's first in the list so void transmit motion okay all right and uh, all this is is that uh, it'll only happen on the server so that's an important point uh, that i should uh, that's that i should say is that because these are the zombies and only the server controls them so this uh, transmitting of motion it's not even actually i would say transmitting a motion yeah i guess it is because i'm going to uh, send it to the clients i'm going to update it i'm going to store the values here on the server and use the sync vars to send that to the clients uh, so it's fine i'll just say if not is server then return so I don't want this function to run. Otherwise, yes, it should do stuff. So if vector three dot distance uh, my transform dot position. So uh, and the last position. So if these two are not uh, are big enough, then it's a it's a cause to uh, update the data greater than position threshold or the rotation is big enough. So quaternion dot angle and what am I comparing? The my transform dot rotation and also the last uh, rotation value. And if they are greater than uh, the rotation threshold, then in that case, I have code that needs to happen. And first of all is last position is equal to my transform dot position and last rotation is equal to my transform dot rotation then i'll now update the sync values so sync pos is equal to my transform dot position and a sync y rotation is equal to my transform dot local euler angles dot y all right so that's it for the transmit motion. This is going to happen on the server. The sync of VARs will get updated on the server and then sent out to the clients automatically. Uh, so now I just write here uh, the client function. Oops, what am I doing? That's better. 
And in this case, if this is the server, then return. So this is not to run on the server. Of course, you don't want uh, interpolation happening there. This is for all the clients. Uh, so in that case, my transform dot position is equal to a vector three uh, dot lerp. And from where to where, my transform dot position to that new sync position. That's where we're going at what rate? Uh, well, what, what fraction? Uh, time dot delta time times uh, the lerp rate. And uh, OK, and that's that. Then the next one is I have to um, uh, create the quaternion. Well, uh, lerp the quaternion. And I'm going to use the Euler angle. But first of all, I'm going to make a, a vector 3 to hold that uh, Euler rotation. So new rotation is equal to a new vector 3. And I'll give it a 0 for x rotation. Then the y is going to be the sync y rotation and 0 for z. And that will do that. Next, I will actually alert the rotation. So my transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot lerp. And from where to where? So my transform dot rotation uh, to quaternion dot Euler. So this converts it back into uh, a quaternion new ROT. So I'm going to convert those Eulers to uh, to that. And uh, at time dot uh, delta time times the lerp rate. And that should work fine. And I believe that's all I have to do. I've got my code there, and then that should pretty much run. So I'll just go to the prefab and edit it. So for this, I need to get rid of the network transform, so remove that component. Now I'll come here and drop in the motion sync. Oops, didn't drop that in. Done. All right. So I'll build that. Okay, and the zombies are approaching. And let's have a look how it looks on a client. And that is looking pretty good. A little bit of, uh, I guess, what would you call it? Updating, but nah, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it can get fixed later. I mean, at least it looks a lot better. Anyway, but that's it. This is much better than the original uh, transform uh, syncing. Well, the original uh, transform component. Oof, that's pretty deadly. But anyway, uh, so OK, well, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'll just implement a somewhat better spawn system. Uh, not too much better, just basically just more spawn points. I distribute the zombies about a bit, I think, and I set it up as a wave system as well, so that there's a delay before they come into the server, and then just to have repeatedly more waves after wave come, uh, and not exceed a maximum limit of zombies at the same time, but the waves will just continue forever. But that's all easy code anyway. All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.